So, you know, in the satanic community, there's been kind of um, somewhat of a rift um, that, that, you know, you see if you read the forums and, you know, stuff like that, is that uh, there's like basically there's the pro Anton LaVey and then there's the, uh, you know, not so pro Anton LaVey. You have your people that respect Anton LaVey for what he did, kind of consider him like the godfather of Satanism, or at least, you know, the, um, the doorkeeper, the doorman, right, that opened the floodgates. And, you know, and... Um, solidified a new philosophy, or at least codified a philosophy, you know, uh, and brought it into modern times, which he called Satanism. And there's uh, others that feel that LeVay was a charlatan, LeVay was just a uh, knockoff of Crowley, or LeVay was um, even, you know, an animal abuser, or a woman beater, or, you know, some sort of, like, sexist, you know, pig, um, which I always thought was the funniest because, uh, you know, he wrote a whole book called The Satanic Witch, which was a book about, you know, um, how to use, teach women how to use their femininity to gain power and control in the world, um, you know, and to basically manipulate and uh, seduce men in order to gain power. And that was, you know, the position of authority. And in 19, you know, in the early 70s when that book was released, you know, I mean, there was still a real struggle. I mean, I'm sure it still is, but you know what I'm saying? It was a lot bigger of a struggle than it was. So for people to call him sexist, I thought it was, you know, kind of funny, but either way, you know, um, a lot of these accusations about LeVay also came out when he was dead, after he died, so that he couldn't defend himself, you know. Everybody knew something or knew, knew somebody or heard somebody or whatever, but yeah, always always is the case. But anyway, so you have your pro LeVays and your uh, not so pro LeVays. And, um, you know, for me, I mean, obviously I started off as a, uh, you know, a LeVay and Satanist. I read the Satanic Bible when I was like 13 or 14. And, uh, you know, for the first time, I actually read something of a philosophical or religious nature. Uh, not that I really consider it religious, but I did at the time, right? The Satanic Bible, right? The Bible, of course it's religious. Um, you know, I, I read something expecting to, expecting something completely different than what I read. And uh, I read it, and it was like a mirror, you know? I mean, it was the first time I could, like, relate. It was like, wow, there's actually a philosophy that makes sense, for one, right? Uh, two, um, it's practical. Three, it's how I already felt. So it was, for me, it was the first time I actually identified without some sort of reserve, without feeling guilty about, um, you know, uh, or, or stupid or, you know, or I just basically, or not fitting in, you know. I, this is the first time I was able to read something that actually reflected something about myself, I thought. Kind of like looking into a mirror. And so for that, you know, I had a great admiration for LeVay. And, you know, although LeVay may have, you know, plagiarized bits of Midas right, although he may have, you know, used some of his magical um, <clears throat> workings, you know, and some of his, like, the satanic rituals in the last half of the satanic Bible, some of that may have been based off of, you know, this or that. People say that, you know, a lot of it's just Crowley rewarded. I don't know about a lot about that, but, I mean, even if it was, you know, um, even if it was, that doesn't detract from what he did, you know, and... Uh, you know, what, what he did was, for the first time, create a philosophy and a religion, if you want to call it that. We'll just call it a philosophy that, for the first time, that actually stood up in um, contrast to Christianity, to God-fearing religions. And um, if there was something before him like that, it definitely wasn't as popular, and definitely wasn't as packaged as well, and it definitely wasn't <clears throat> prepared for the mainstream. You know, I'm sure there are little groups of cults here and there that, you know, practice something similar. But yeah, I mean, nobody, he was the first one to actually make it popular. He was the first one to actually bring it into the limelight. So for that, you know, I think he, he deserves a lot of respect. And for that reason, you know, when somebody asks me if I'm a Levian Satanist, I, you know, I'll say yes, I am. It doesn't mean that I, you know, I hold on to everything he says is gospel. It doesn't mean that I even agree with a lot of, um, not a lot, but some of the things he says. Some of the things he does say, like uh, some of the satanic sins and some of the nine satanic rules of the earth, are a little impractical or um, a little outdated. But, you know, I take into consideration when that stuff was written, fuck, you know, 60 years ago. I mean, uh, a lot of that stuff is old. And, the, you know, times are a lot different back then. And, I mean, I just think times are a lot different than they were 20, 30 years ago that I can remember still. And, uh, you know, so um, I take it for what it is. You know, I take what I like from LeVay and I, you know, would never shit on LeVay and I give him a lot of respect. And I take what, and I, but I also, you know, and I acknowledge what he did for the left-hand path, for mainstreaming Satanism. When I say mainstreaming, I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean just bringing it 
and generate an interest in the Satanism. Because, you know, that interest is already there in a lot of people, but there was nobody, there was no real way of packaging it where it was actually here in one source. If there was, it wasn't very popular. So, you know, I, I think that people should give respect to LeVay for that, um, amongst other things, but at least for that. And uh, that's kind of how I stand with LeVay, you know. Um, again, I don't agree with everything he said, but um, I do rececognize what he did. I do recognize him as the godfather of Satanism. And I think it's kind of hard to call yourself a Satanist without acknowledging that, you know, unless you just worship a, an imagery of Satan as, a, you know, being you know, from the Christian Bible, in which case, you know, you're basically an inverted Christian. That's basically it, so...